In yonder town where I was born, there was a fair maid dwelling. You know, one of the issues I think we have in Washington, D.C. right now is we don't have enough members of Congress who understand what it feels like to grow up poor. It was early. Doesn't understand what it feels like to not be somebody. But I never felt like my name's good enough. I, I, I didn't feel like somebody growing up. Come on, son, go with me do chores. I was about 23 years old when I had kids. And I was in a job where I didn't make very much money. I didn't have a college degree. And I looked around and said, if I want to have a life that my children can aspire to, then I have to grind. I have to do something better with my life. Uh, I arranged my schedule so I could work nights and weekends at the police department and go to school all week long. And I did that for three years. What do you think, old girl? And as I was approaching graduation, I thought, I'm just tired of working nights and weekends. I'm tired of just scratching to get by. And as somebody who didn't know any attorneys, I thought, well, shoot, that's the way to, to do it. You go and be an attorney, and then you are somebody. And boy, did I get disabused of that notion pretty quick, because you're still not from the right family. You still don't talk the right way. I, I never wanted to accomplish things just for my own personal gratification. Everything I've wanted to accomplish has been for the betterment of my family, and most importantly, my kids. <laughs> The difference between me and Andy Barr or Mitch McConnell, Andy Barr's taking this money from pharmaceutical companies and from healthcare companies because that's who he's gonna work for. They didn't give him that money because he was funny at a dinner party. They gave him that money because they wanted something from him. So when that health insurance company can deny my mother when she spends a couple days in the emergency room, they paid Andy Barr for that privilege. And if they came to me, I'd tell them, don't come in here with your corporate PAC money because I'm not interested and I'm gonna to go to work for the regular people who you've caused to suffer. And I think we get some representatives like me in Congress, people from communities like this can look and say, you know what, here's a guy who come up like I did so that the voices of the folks who struggle are heard and got somebody on the doggone floor of the House of Representatives shout and saying, we're gonna do stuff that helps these people, my people. So slowly, slowly she got out and slowly she At the end of my life, what will determine if my name was good enough was did I work hard enough? Did I do what the people elected me to do? Did I do what my family needed? That's what will make my name good enough. If I can't have Barbara Allen